Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today, uh, Hyperdrive Collections, we're going to take a look at one of my Black Series display cabinets. And along with that, you may have uh, followed along in some of my inexpensive display base series where I take some scrap materials like uh, scrap plywood and just some contact cement and stuff from like old calendars and scrapbooks and things. And I make uh, I make display bases for usually about anywhere between two to three bucks a piece. Um, and uh, so what I've done is I've turned them into little book nooks. So here's uh, a picture of the cabinet. And again, uh, if you saw my GI Joe uh, cabinet, you'll, you might remember that uh, I built all these cabinets by hand and instead of painting them, what I did was I appliqued old comic book pages to them. Primarily Star Wars, but also G.I. Joe and Indiana Jones. And uh, it kind of gives a really cool look to the cabinet. So, you know, it just kind of makes it my own and interesting uh, instead of black or whatever. And then, of course, I, I have the glass shelving and the tap lights. And uh, so, anyways, um, these little display bases, I take the Black Series boxes. I particularly like the red ones. The older ones really look, I think, nice with this. And then... I just make little nooks for them and then I just feed the display bases into them that I've made and put a tap light in it that's controlled by remote. And here's one of my Marvel ones. I, I do have, uh, I love the thing, so here's what those look like. And now uh, you know, we've got uh, some Mandalorians on some of them up there. So if you pan back, I think it makes for a really cool, interesting display. And of course, I do have some rotating around. So there's uh, an SH Figure Arts Leia, an R2, which is really the awesome figures, really, really nice figures. And then down here, I actually have an Ahsoka spinning around down there, but we'll take a quick look. So we'll, we'll walk through it. So here's one of my first display bases I made. And you know, it's just a palm tree type of thing, but I don't know, I thought Luke and Grogu would look pretty cool. You can put whoever you want on there, but you know, um, I have, uh, I do have uh, Jaina Solo on display there. And uh, again, I like to display my, my cabinets and my displays. I like to have them sort of neat and organized, and I don't like to have too much on display at any given time. I rotate them out. I have all the figures boxed and as I need them, I take them out and switch it up. Here's another one I did. I, I never did a video on this one. This was cool. This was from a Force Awakens uh, source material book. And it has uh, the really cool um, Rathtar. And uh, I just thought it made for kind of a cool display. A couple of bucks and uh, another great figure there. That's one of my favorites. Uh, but, you know, I've got um, I've got uh, Aura Singh. And then over here I've got the rotating Ahsoka. And I have one of my clone troopers. I actually have three other such cabinets with black series. And uh, I will go and show them to you all in good time. But here's one. I really wanted to give you an idea of what the what the custom display bases that you may have seen me make, um, what they look like in, in context. So uh, there's a couple of Tuscans and a Tatooine theme. And another great Isla Sakura figure. So, kind of cool. I, I like this one a lot too. Chopper and Hera. And uh, my niece just graduated from high school and she's off to college. And so uh, she likes to come over and uh, I like to, uh, I like to put the, her some of her favorite figures. And so I had a lot of females on display. All of the little book nooks were females and I've been slowly switching them over, but I did leave some. So that's why there's a uh, some of the female figures are really awesome, but um, I had these were all female figures a little while ago. But in honor of her graduating, I thought I'd keep them up. And here's here's what it kind of looks like if you pan out. And uh, really, really, really makes them pop. You know, I think that's kind of an interesting way to do it. I am, I do intend to get more of the rotating bases and uh, continue on with that. And again, this is one of three such Black Series shelves that I have. And I continue to make these bases just to make them pop. So uh, let me know what you think. Tell me tell me if you like, uh, if you like this look. 
you know, tell me if it's if it's just crazy. Should I put more on the shelves? I don't know. I just I just really like to not really have too much, not assault people with with just sort of tons and tons and tons of things on the shelf. Instead, I kind of like to let each individual piece stand on its own merit. The 360 rotating bases are great because it really allows you to see all aspects of the figure. And uh, like I said, I do switch these out very periodically. So every month or so, maybe maybe more, I come in and maybe I'll switch one or two up. And uh, stay tuned. So the next one will be my army builders, my Black Series army builders, which I, I have a, a fair number. So anyways, thank you for looking. Let me know what you think.